All right. Hope everybody's doing fantastic today. We're gonna start. Not everybody's in here, but they can watch the beginning later. Um. Hey, Crystal, you're here. How you doing? Let's see, I'm trying to figure out where, where should we begin. We're going to eventually go over the Mini Monkey Mafia. Uh, we'll go over Dragonary. Possibly some Axie stuff. But NFTs for sure we're going to be going over. I'm looking at this one. It's dropping in 8 minutes. I am considering this one. Just got off work. I'm just starting work. Well, streaming is kind of my job, but I don't really get paid a lot for it. But it's the only thing I have to do that's on a schedule. <laughs> I don't really have much of anything else that I have to do on a schedule except for NFT drops or coin drops. So, <clears throat> these look kind of cool. Um,. Goblins, goblin goons. Here, uh, let me pull up their regular site. We got seven minutes to look at them. I don't know how fast they'll actually go. There's about 5,000 people on their Discord. I, I posted the correct link, Captain. Um, re check the new link I posted. It should be. It should work. The the other link was my referral link, but I guess it's not working. I think because I signed up too late. Uh, but the cool thing about this one is it's only 0 .04 and it's a PvP game where you'll battle other orcs and goblins and uh, you're battling for a two, every two weeks they take uh, secondary sale money. So there's, if you see, um, I think it's right here. Warriors who beat all three of their opponents are entered into a raffle to win a share of secondary sales royalties. So the raffles take place every two weeks, and 100 winners are randomly selected. Um, the Ethereum generated from the 7.5% secondary sale royalties of the three collections will be divided and sent to each winner's wallet. For example, if the OpenSea volume for the two week period is 300 ethereum the 100 wi winners would share 22.5 ethereum and goons just hit like 1500 ethereum in the during this week you know so that's that's pretty cool the other goons i'm in Go goons of balatrun um it's pretty cool you know I don't think it's going to last for long. I think it's something that can be minted today and flipped quick tomorrow, the next day. Um, there's some more stuff that goes on with it. People who already own get a free mint. Um... Yeah, I thought there's some. So it's nothing too crazy. So I'm not going hard with it. I'm not going to buy a bunch of them. But I do think buying two of them, I'll be able to at least double my money. There's only 8,800 available. So that's a lower number than most of these uh, NFTs are doing. Yes, of course. Here you go. So losers miss out on the Ethereum, but they don't lose their orc. Um, I think, there, like I said, there's over 5,000 people in the Discord right now. I think it'd be smart. I think it'd be good to grab two of them. You know, maybe three of them. 
I don't know. It's not nothing crazy, you know. Maybe I'm just gonna grab one. I might only grab one. Tell you the truth. Um, it's just they don't have anything crazier for a roadmap. You know, that's it. That's all there is to it. Which is cool, but if they ever fall off, secondary sales fall off, then there's no point in battling them because there's not going to be anything to win if there's never any more secondary sales. So the, it worries me a little bit, but I'm not even looking at their Discord. Let me jump in their Discord real quick. Where are we at here? So, usually it tells me up here how many people are in here. What's up? Nope. That's weird. Pretty sure there's like 5,000 people in the Discord. I don't know why it's not telling me. Are you guys in the Discord yet? Here, join the Discord and let me know how many people are in it. It should tell you when you join it. I'm pretty sure it's like just over 5,000. I don't know why it's not telling me up here. It does with everything else. Sarah, did you, were you able to see how many members were in the Discord when you joined? around 5,000 so I mean I don't know how hard they're pushing let's check their Twitter around 2,000 online they got 7,200 tweets or followers since May I don't know it's nothing too crazy. It's nothing I'm like super stoked about. It's just something that I, I think has a possibility, you know? So it's not like I'm sitting here saying buy a lot. I would not, I would not buy a lot of these. I'm only thinking about buying one. But my other goons didn't sell out. The other goons I got into, goons of uh, Balatrun, I got into this and it took six days to mint all of these and so like they were a slow mint and their floor just jumped up to 0.75 last night it's back down to 0.38 but they're definitely going to go back up when the game gets closer to coming out and they took six days to mint you know so just because a project takes a while to mint doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to blow up So, I mean, it's bad. It's ready right now. What are your, your guys' opinion? We'll see how fast it sells. I'm going to see how fast it sells and then decide whether or not to get in. If it sells, if it's like 4,000 in just a matter of seconds, oh, it's only 0 .03 now. Yeah, I mean, a lot of good projects sell out same day, but a lot of good projects also take wa a while to sell. Oh, they changed it. So they've already sold 200, and it's been literally a second. <laughs> So 
even gonna refresh. Plus the gas, is another 0 0.02. 0 0.025, that's rough. I feel like it's their network's cra maybe their network's crashing. There's so many people trying to mint, you think? Uh, the fuck gas is going up, flying up. Uh, it just dropped a little. Ah, uh, look. All right, so already like 1,200 has been minted. The website's starting to work. Vaughn, thanks for the follow. I appreciate you being in here. Feel free to jump in the chat. Sit back, relax, enjoy the stream. So what we're going over right now is the Goblin Goons. They're not selling. They're, I mean, 1,200 sold in a matter of a couple minutes. So they're, they're selling kind of fast, but that speed could fall off like that, you know? I got it pulled up twice. So now we're about at, at uh, 1,350 sold. Thirteen hundred fifty sold. I, I don't know how I'm getting it up either and you're, you're not. It's just I'm on Brave Browser. I got a bunch of other browsers up too so I'm not doing anything special. We'll just keep refreshing it. All right, we're about 1,409 sold. So, if they get over 4,000 sold today, or in just a couple hours. At this rate, it's going to be like 15, 20 minutes. But we'll see. Is anybody else going to mint one? What's your guys' thoughts, opinions? Sora? Crystal? Big blunt, if it goes at half, what do you mean? Uh, gas you're talking about? If gas goes down to half, you'd cop one? I mean, they're moving. They're, they are moving because now it's, what's that? Uh, 1,575 are gone, so another 175. So they are moving. Yeah, if it goes past 4,000 minted, I'm going to grab one. And that, that's the thing. I, I'm not in their Discord too heavy, so it doesn't really say on here. It doesn't have a date. I, well, does it? Maybe I did read it. Hold on. Let me, let me look through this again. They release on the 30th, but when's their game release? And like one spot says 30th, one spot says 31st. So something must have happened yesterday. Um, let's check out their Discord. Announcements. Fact. Clint Mint. 
And so they don't even talk about the game in here. That should be in the frequently asked questions. All right. Oh, they're doing this giveaway to everybody that mints today. They get a chance at getting a mutant ape. They don't really, they don't talk about it here. That's kind of crazy. Or maybe I'm just missing it. See if anybody answers my question. I'm going to ask them in the general chat here when this game release. Hopefully somebody sees it. Seem to have a pretty decent community. Community, pretty big one. Like they're talking, pretty active one, I should say. Nobody's answering my question, so let's see what we're at now. Oh, this is the one. Seventy-two twenty-five. Sixty-eight fifty-five. Look at that. So that's like two thousand done. It's moving pretty quick. They're moving pretty quick. So if they they get close to getting down, I'll probably grab one. Yeah, I seen that. You get essentially you get a free orc. So that that kind of worries me because that means the community that doesn't allow the community to grow. A significant amount there are some red flags here and so I don't know it's kind of hard I, I want to do it because I feel like it it could work but it could be good they're not really responding to when the game re releases They don't have it posted anywhere, which isn't the end of the world, you know. It's just something. I'm sure if you get a rare one, it's going to sell because of people that want to play in the game. You know, people that want to play the PvP aspect, the rare one is going to sell. Because it's going I'm pretty sure the rare one's going to allow you to be stronger. Uh, stats are going to be better, you know, because it's rare. So 2000, 2052 gone. So we're going to keep watching it. If it goes, if it keeps going, I'll probably, probably buy one. Towards the end. It's kind of a gamble though. Could be one of those things where they just start dumping the bottom dollar ones. I don't know. I'm not going to lie you guys. I'm not like super sold on this project like I am with other projects I'm going to be talking about. Um, like Mini Monkey Mafia is one of them. 
Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Discord in the chat. This one right here, I'm super stoked on. Um, the art is just fantastic. And so we can look at the sneak peeks. You guys see the art is just amazing. Okay, so in the future they're gonna have a game. They already have a roadmap planned out. And so the game is gonna be early next year. Sora, you're in Mini Monkeys, nice. Glad to hear, glad to hear. I'm so excited. The game's gonna be out next year, but the art is so cool. I believe it will it, it could potentially catch hype like Board 8 Yacht Club. Maybe not as big, you know, I'm not, they're two different projects, but Board 8 Yacht Club doesn't have a game that's going to be coming as far as I know. But this, this does, and these are freaking dope. Like, excuse me, one of the coolest NFT projects I've seen. Look, this is my meme. Mini Monkey Mafia, pay them or they'll just take it. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to post that in here, but I did. We got this guy, Diamond, Spider Eyes. This is one of my favorite guys right here. I like the hair. My little rave buddy. Gas Mask Guys, he's tight. These are so cool. The art is so good on them. I could see these blowing up. 100%. So I highly recommend these. There's only going to be 5,000 of them. You can still get into pre-sale right now if you go onto their Discord. I just dropped the link. If you go on their Discord and you, you're a part of the community, you're a part of the chat. Um, they'll, you'll become part of the pre-sale. There's a... Uh, well, it looks like there's still like 300, 450 pre-sale slots left if this has been updated. And so, and there's still, it's still early in this. They're going to release, actually, did he release it? September 10th. September 10th is the drop. Right here. Two monkeys per wallet for the pre-sale. So the pre-sale, pre-sale is going to be September 10th until the 12th. We're so grateful and blown away by the support. There's so much more. So I wonder when the public sale is going to be. Hey, uh, I don't want to say your name wrong. Tayari. Tarari. It, no, it's Tarari, right? I'm sorry. I, I know I mess it up every time. Can I just call you Tay or T or... Can I call you T? <laughs> Will that work? <laughs> It'd be so much easier. I know. I, I would rather say your, your real name. If I heard you say it one more time, the next time we're on Discord together, I'm going to jump in the chat and I want to hear you say it. Because if I heard you say it, I, it would stick. I've just never heard you say it. So I'm going to get it the next time, I, I promise you. Um, I'm glad you're here, though. Thanks for joining. Big help with getting me a lot of invites for the... Mini Monkey Mafia giveaway. Um, where is it? Oh, it's in the bot. Oh, I got knocked back to number 10. I was number 9. Now I'm number 10 again. Well, I mean, I like it when pre people pronounce my name correct, so I'm sure you do too. So I definitely... Um, We'll work on that the next time I see you. 
And so I'm actually trying to become a mod for Mini Monkey Mafia. I'm pretty sure they're going to make me one here soon. Um, I talked to Alex about it. Uh, I'm just, I'm sure he's just super busy. So. Um, but yeah, you guys, Mini Monkey Mafia, check it out. The roadmap's on their website. Let me drop their website in here. Check out their Twitter. Check out my Twitter. If you guys have a chance. Bam. So you can see here, you can see their uh, art right here. Little sneak peeks. We got devil horns. We got crying raver with bubble gum. Snake eyed banana head. By far... By far my favorite art with any NFT project. I don't know why I'm so attracted to it, but I love it. So sick. And so next year, um, there will be mini games and an MMO platform that you get play as your monkey. So he's the lead developer and lead artist, Christine, Alex. Fantastic work. They're doing fa fantastic job. He's only going to be .03 on launch, you guys. And so get into the pre-sale. Guarantees you get two of them. And then you can try to get eight more during the launch, um, the public launch. But I, d I think this one's going to be fantastic. Let's check see where the goblin goons are. Oh, they don't want me to get in. Did it crash? Is anybody else in here? Lost the goons. Did it crash? Yeah, I was thinking about having TV on and having some like display back there, but I don't know what's put on it. So I just kind of leave it off. I don't want to get hit with any copyright crap and they'll like block out my stream. Yep. Rest in peace for sure, goblin goons. They were moving along good too. All right, well, let's go to my next NFT choice, you guys. This next one is going to be huge. All right, this next one will sell out immediately. So you guys have to be ready with your Ethereum, ready to go, ready to press mint, as fast as possible because this one is going to go that fast okay you guys I wish I was a part of their community more so that way I, I would be on the inside for a pre-sale but I am NOT which is unfortunate it's unfortunate but you guys go here we got uh, this is where, where's a good explanation I'm gonna have to read an explanation the artist started with first sketches in June 2021 um, 7,000 unique sevens NFTs will be created they already have like 40,000 people in their discord um, it will drop September 7th at 7 p.m. UTC which is 11 a.m., 10 or 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I believe 11 Pacific Standard Time. All right, so this one I highly recommend. This, this one's going to be so big, you guys don't understand. I could see this one having a floor price of 5 Ethereum. No problem. No problem. It's that hyped. Overview, let's go in here. References from pop culture, anime, games, memes, and movies. The collection focuses on streetwear such as shirts, hoodies, headpieces, and more. Use your sevens in our upcoming treasure hunt or order your seven swag in our store. So if we check their Twitter out, 0 .07, 7,000 total supply, September 7th. They're all about sevens. Pre-sale is September 4th if you got in it. You guys, this is their Twitter. So
Sora, uh, the Discord is saying it's crashed for a lot of people. All right, well, at least it's not only us. So at least it happened to everybody. As you can see, 24,700 followers. They're only following 223. They've only been here since June. This is huge numbers. They get a lot of really great responses. Um, Waka Flocka is now part of the 7 crew. Wow. Waka Flocka. He knows, he knows where good money is. I'm telling you, this is going to blow up, you guys. You want to get into the mint of this one. When did I give away? August 18th? I wasn't even a part of it yet. Let's go to their website. Check out their website. Yeah, SLP is down. SLP is going to come back when they decide to fix the marketplace. It's all up to the developers now. As you can see, the art behind this, this is very attractive to a lot of people. This style of art is very attractive to a lot of people. That is why they have over 40,000, it's like 30, 40,000 uh, Discord members. Might even be closer to 50,000 by now. They're, they're absolutely blowing up, and they haven't even dropped yet. That's the biggest thing. They have, they're still eight days from dropping. And they have that many people on board. Waka Flocka is a part of this. You guys, this is going to be so big. I can't get over it. This, this is one of my, besides the Mini Monkey Mafia, this is my most favorite NFT project coming out. 100%. Mini Mafia and this one. Oh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get to Cipher. We're gonna get to Cipher. Cipher is my third. I would say Cy Cipher is my third, but it's coming just a little bit after everybody. Wait, actually, Cipher drops on yeah the ninth, the ninth and tenth. So not quite after everybody. It's like in the midst of, of everybody. It's like in the middle. Cyphers, I'm definitely excited about Cypher too. Dang, 2800 gone. You're right. You copped one? They're going pretty fast. Oh, Living Tehu makes an appearance. How's it going, my friend? We're going over some really saucy, saucy NFT projects. Like some literally some projects that could make you come up 510 ethereum no problem i'm not over exaggerating this you guys you see people selling nfts all day every day they're getting to the right the right ones and they're making money some good money nfts are selling every day for 10 20 30 ethereum you just gotta get into the right projects so getting into an early project is good Selling early on a project can be a mistake. Some people get in, they see the project isn't going anywhere, and they sell. That might be a mistake if it's a good project. Okay, um, but back to back to the orcs. We got six thousand three. Let's see. So they're moving. They're moving. If they go, if they go under four thousand, I'll probably, I'll probably grab one, but. It, they've only been up for what 25 minutes and 3,000 are gone almost what do you mean what's wrong with the sevens drop the pre-sales at 4 the September 4th September 7th is there something I don't know about how they're going to drop it? Oh yeah, I'm going to go over Crypto Bay in a little bit as well, you guys. Crypto Bay is a new blockchain game that just came out that I, I you know, don't take my word for it. Go do your own research, but I think it's going to be hot. 
I think it's going to be a good one. Good one to get into now. Is, uh, so, oh, is this the one that I read that about? So, it's like a raffle? Is this the one that's a raffle? Where, where are you reading that at, Sora? So I, so I can pull it up. I didn't think this one was the raffle or anything. I, th I thought it was just a regular minting process. I didn't even I didn't even get a welcome message from them, did I? If I leave and rejoin, will I get that message? You think? Is there any way you could post what the message says so I could read it? Welcome. Hmm. Thank you. That's fantastic. We come an early member of the sevens for the fairness of the community. We have decided to allow minting of a small number of sevens to avoid gas words in the future. What? Public minting is only going to be 777? That looks super sketch. For more information, join their Twitter. Let's check out their Twitter. That looks, I've never seen that. I don't even think I got that when I joined, you know, but let's see. Let's see, giveaway. Yep, a piece of hair. Um, we got Seven's Music. Giveaway. So, I mean, I don't see that anywhere else. Look, on August 28th, they had 26,850. So, yeah, I, I'm not seeing it. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. In all their posts. Let's 
Well, look, here's an article. Let's check out their article. It's come our attention that fellow project in space has only made several claims. Yeah, On One Forest was a big one here recently, but it kind of crashed. I guess on force one is like calling them out saying that they copied everything from them but it doesn't it doesn't really look I mean it doesn't really look like that's the case so I guess that's what that was about that's kind of interesting that's something I'm really worried about I just want to know more about this uh, pre-sale thing, or the public sale. Alright, alright. Not seeing it anywhere. Where are we at? August 23rd? They should, they would have posted it somewhere by now, right? 22nd. I mean, cause if, that, if that's the, how it's gonna work, that does kind of worry me. But like I said, I just have not seen that anywhere else. And tweets and replies? Probably not. Please sell. We're on the page. December 7th. Yeah, I don't know. More details. This is the pre sale. So let's check the pre sale. Oh, wait, that's just their Twitter. not very good <laughs> I mean that's not very helpful we just went over that yeah that's not very helpful at all what the heck <laughs> all right well I, I literally see that nowhere else. I, I I'm. That's gonna be the Twitter.
Welcome, 05. 0757. I've never seen anybody else do this. I I haven't been in NFTs that long. Don't get me wrong. I don't know everything. But I've never seen this. And so and I don't see it anywhere else on their page. Not in their mint on website on launch day. Right there in the overview. There's just no way. That has to be a scam of some sort. That is crazy how fast they were. You said as soon as you joined, they sent you that. That has to be a scam. Right? Like We see it nowhere else. Oh, well, my name has to begin or end with 777? I'm down. How do I change my name? <laughs> oh, we're going to have to do it afterwards. I'm going to have to purple up. Yeah, I'd be careful, Sora. I wouldn't trust that at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back on... Uh, I'm going to keep on checking every day to keep following them, to be up to date with them. Uh, that's what I'm going to do and then come closer to the 7th yeah 100% so if you anybody on here you see that oh you made it back just in time we just we just witnessed one clever scam um, luckily, nobody got hit with it. Sora here got hit with an email instantly when, she, when uh, he, or, he or she, I'm not 100% sure, joined sev the Sevens Discord. And when they joined, this bot sent them this message instantly about the presale. And so we did a little bit of research into it, and it's a scam. 100%. Uh, the seven, it, it was telling her to send Ethereum to a certain address on Mint Day to get the sevens NFT sent to sent back, and it was a complete scam. So we found out Mint on website on launch day. We'll be on the website on launch day. Oh look, they're oh, only up to thirty six thousand. I thought they were over forty thousand by now, so that was my mistake. Um, but still, thirty six thousand. It's fantastic i do think this is going to be fantastic so um come back for this you guys so we already went over mini mafia the mini monkey mafia their chat is popping um they got some giveaways happening go check go check out um the drop reveal tweet is out it's a giveaway Let's see what's the next big NFT project. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna get into the games in a moment. We're gonna just go over the NFT projects first. And so, yeah, Cipher's chat. We'll get into Cipher. Cipher's a game though. So Cipher, Cipher is something we'll get into. It is huge already, and uh, this this is definitely something you guys can't miss out on. But let's continue to go over NFTs. Let's get them out of the way. Then we'll jump into the blockchain games, the play-to-earn games that are coming out or that are already here. And we'll uh, we'll dig deep into how we can make money playing games. But next, we're going to go over Nifty Riots here. Nifty Riots is an NFT. Um, you know what, you guys? Let me get some water real quick. I'm out of water. Maybe it was just, uh, it was Nifty Riot's Twitter. Let's look at their website quick. Let me go get some water, though, and I will be right back, okay? I appreciate you guys. Stay alive.
Excuse me. Oh, YB, you are you know it. You know I'm still getting money. We making money over here. Um we going over big money moves coming up in the beginning of September. We already went over the Mini Monkey Mafia. We already went over the Sevens project. Both guaranteed to make Multiple times. Multiple times return. Guaranteed. Nifty rights. That's my other that's my other pick. We're gonna go over multiple picks that are guaranteed. Cypher. I think Project Yours is gonna be a good one. Turtle Squad. But uh Actually since I'm back real quick, let's see how many orcs or uh, goblins have been minted. going on here are they done doesn't want to tell me all right so it, it looks like it's slowing down a little bit where are we at 3300 has been minted mafia monkeys are catching on pretty good um they haven't done their full marketing push they uh they're gonna be doing a tiktok release to uh, do a tiktok marketing push and some other ones coming up as well um yeah so there's there's a lot of good things coming for the monkey mafia i feel like it hasn't really been pushed a lot yet they're waiting for the release date to come out since now a release date is out um, remember, there's only 5,000 monkeys that can be minted, you know, so once w Like once they're gone, they're gone. There's not very many at all You know usually projects are doing 10,000 11,000 the fact that there's only 5,000 the artwork is so solid um, Oh discord 
<laughs> You're trying to win the meme contest. You're, he's like in second place of the meme contest, Captain Big Blunt. His name's Oak One on Discord. But I, I think the traction's really good with Mini Monkey Mafia. Um, it definitely could be catching more traction, but I feel like they're not they're not pushing it yet as hard as they want um i think they're still in developments and so once everything is a as they want it i feel like that's when they're really going to start the big marketing push and that I all it's going to take is the right twitter influencers nft influencers to get on board with it and it's going to catch wildfire and the fact that they're so cheap to mint the fact that they're so cheap to mint is another thing that they're, it, they can be easily flipped for double the money. Now they're only point, point zero 0.06 they're being sold for in the marketplace. And people are making money. That's still cheap, you know? So I feel like with all those compounded together, all those figures compounded together, it's going to be very profitable. Well, see, I, I, my argument with that YB would be the Goons of Balatroon. The Goons of Balatroon took five or six days to sell out, and there's only 9,999 of them. And I got in on them because I thought it would be a solid project. I got in on, like, the fifth day, and they minted for 0 .07, I think, 0 .08. And uh, it took a couple of weeks, but floor price last night was 0 .75 you know and so um and once the it gets closer to the game releasing they're going to be dropping 40 nft cards to each goon and so um once that happens i feel like you're going to see the floor price go up again for these goons because once it gets closer to the game being released So it doesn't a project doesn't have to sell out fast to be a good project. Just means that the people haven't caught on yet, which still happens. You know, it doesn't ha it doesn't happen all the time, but it still does every once in a while. And that's where the monkeys have not reached their full potential at all. And once they start pushing, it's gonna the type of art that it is, it it's gonna catch on. The monkeys will have a game early next year. It'll be an MMO, and they'll have some mini games coming out. So that's really exciting. So let's get into Nifty Riots, my next NFT project that I, I believe is going to do really well. <clears throat> the, this project has a little bit more pieces than I would hope it hope for. It has 7,635. Still not a lot, but I, I would hope for something like this to, to only have like a thousand pieces if this only had a thousand pieces it would just make it that much more valuable that much more fought after i would say um i have not got an orc yet i've been waiting i've been watching them waiting see see if they continue to drop at a quick rate then i might grab one but uh back to nifty riots um as if you guys can read here, you'll see there's 7,600. Yeah, do your own research on all these. All these projects I'm talking about, do your own research. Don't take my word for anything. Do your own research, dig into the project, and get to know it so that way you're comfortable with what you're buying, all right? This is just my opinion. And my opinion matters to me but it shouldn't matter to any of you until you've done your own research on it and verified everything that i'm saying all right i'm making money on on a lot of these projects there are some projects i've lost money at and so it's up to you guys to if you decide to buy or when you guys decide to sell all that's up to you i'm just here sharing with you what i'm what i feel i will make money with in the near future and talk about projects I have made money on. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's all on you guys. Do your own research. Sh shut up, Big Blunt. <clears throat> you're, you're high is what you are. <laughs> um, so, all right, back to Nifty Riots, you guys. I'm excited about this one because, look, 
mint price is 0 0.05 ethereum all right 0 0.05 ethereum is super cheap it's a good mint price um, you'll have all the commercial rights, obviously, for the artwork, but it's uh, do your part by promoting tolerance and supporting minorities. And so what this is, if we scroll down here, um, where was it? Frequently Asked Questions. Let's pull up. Is this it? I lost where, or maybe it was on the Discord. I, I uh, oh, maybe right here. I'm, I'm crazy. I scrolled right past it. The Zare Gallery is an exclusive art gallery in Decentraland, dedicated to minorities' art. Okay, so the Zare Gallery is an art gallery in Decentraland, dedicated to showing art created by minorities. It will allow every writer to admire dope art made by nifty riots and by guest artists from all communities it will open soon after all the nfts are minted this is our goal nifty riots wants to create a friendly space for dialogue in communities which sometimes lack the opportunity to have their voice heard so This one, this one isn't one I, I this one uh, I'm a little torn about, but this one I, I really like, and I'm going to grab like two of these, okay? Because I do believe in the art behind this, and uh, it's, it's to support minorities from all over the world, um, to, to promote marginalized groups. And so it's, it's really cool art, and it's only a limited amount of them. And so I do think they will do well. Um, I, I kind of got, in the beginning when I was getting so hyped about it, I kind of got this one and another one combined together in my mind. Um, now that I'm, I'm seeing it, this one is really great. And I do, I do feel I'll, I'll probably grab one or two of these. Um, the only reason I wouldn't grab two is because there is because if I don't have enough Ethereum, that would be the only reason. If I'm using my Ethereum for something else, I, I might not grab two. But I definitely want to grab one. Excuse me. The art behind it I really like. And I feel like something like this can definitely go up in value for floor price because of the project that's behind it. All right. The Discord's doing really well. It's something to check out. You guys can see here. It's a nice little Discord. Um... They're not, you know, they're not the craziest project too. Uh, they're not the craziest project though, but they're something I believe will do well. Um, I was mixing them up with Afro Droids. That's who I was mixing them up with. Afro Droids is another really, um, really great community. But there's just a lot of droids. It, it's a lot of droids that are being made. But Afro Droids is an art project from Africa. Like 15 hours. They're really cool. I think they look kind of cool. Um, they're going to be created into these right here. As you see, it's the formation of the first continent art collective. One cat. Um, Owo will find cultivate and support up and coming artists from Africa and beyond. And so there will be art from the collective will be randomly airdropped to Afrodroid holders active in Discord. Um, free companion Afro drone will be dropped in the future. Uh, at the end of the calendar year spanning 12 days, OO will create a special artwork that will be airdropped to five Afrodroid holders. Um, there's going to be a metaverse land development for the Afro Droids. And so this one's really cool as well. Like I said, I kind of got them both mixed up in my head, like put them together as one project. And together as one project, I feel like they would be really cool. Um, separate, they're still, they're still really good. Secondary royalty is 4%. 
one percent to charity one percent to community development two percent to the artists uh metaverse land purchase for afrodroid community building so they're going to build a metaverse in a big community they're going to do a movie production i'm not sure what kind of film they're going to have um of course the uh, merchandise like most of these companies do at this point and so this one's this one's really cool 20% of sales will be donated to Dreamcatchers Academy. Yeah, and that's... <laughs> I look at literally uh, so many projects. Every single day I'm looking at new projects. And you can ask anyone in my Discord. I literally post every single day. If you guys aren't in my Discord, check out my Twitter. You'll be able to find my Discord in there. I'm on, I, I literally post every single day. I'm on it every single day. Um, and so, yeah, sometimes I get some of these projects confused and sometimes I get them uh, mixed up together. So this is the artist, oh, whoa. This is, this art's dope. This thing's super dope. Oh, it looks like little heads on his head. That's super tight. Uh, so we'll get in that in a second. Tay, who I'll scroll up to the top and get to the, uh, get that. Um, but with the other streamers I watch and the other big NFT collectors I watch, and look, they got the Bored Apes. Isn't this Bored Ape or is this Great Ape? I think this is Bored Ape, right? Bored Ape Yacht Club, guys. With a strong artist... A uh, good art project I've seen go as high as a hundred Ethereum floor price. Okay, granted, I don't know if they had as many um, available as this one will have. Fifteen hours away. Oh, so that's that's the pre-sale. I think public sale will be later in the day at four seventeen. EDT, where EDT time is. Yeah, that was a back, right? That was the Board Ape Yacht Club. So you see their two owners are wealthy in the NFT space. That's a good sign because these are not cheap little things to be in. Either they've been in for a little while now to be in, in this. He has 20 years in IT and digital media. He holds a bachelor's in fine arts and a master's in computer science. This is just fantastic. Like, He first found the NFT space via his basketball fandom and NBA Top Shop. IDT is Israeli daylight time. I have to uh, convert that to PST. So yeah, and then Esther is an operations and product manager who is passionate about creating systems that help people and businesses scale. With digital art and NFT, she's into creating stories and content. So it's it's two o'clock right now. There and it's four o'clock. Is that two a.m. or p.m.? That's two a.m. Right? It has to be. It's four p.m. here. So, if that's 2 a.m. in 15 hours, so it's September 1st there, right? Oh, it's p.m.? It's 2 p.m. over there? Oh, a.m., yeah, it's, yeah, 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 okay, we're right. I just seen you put MP, so I got confused. <laughs> it, it's all good. So if they're starting, so this is this is when the public sale starts. It's 15 hours from now. Yeah. So right here, we got 15 hours and 15 minutes. So 15 hours from now, it's gonna be what? 12 hours from now would be four. Another three hours. Seven in the morning tomorrow morning. Afro droids drop. They have. 
12,000 people on their Discord. There will be 12,000 bots available. 12,111. Max purchase of 20. Seven AM. Seven AM for Pacific Standard Time. So that's ten AM for East Coast. And we'll have five AM for Hawaii. Yeah, I think I'll be up. I'll, pro I'll definitely catch one of these. Let's see how the goblin goons. They're, they're slowing down. The minting is slowing way down on these. We're going to keep an eye on them, though. We're going to keep watching. So I, I think I like the Afro droids better than um, Nifty Riots. Nifty Riots is still a really good one to get into, like I said. But I, looking at Afro Droids team, I, I'm liking Afro Droids a lot better. We didn't really look at Nifty Riots team too much, but these are tight. These are tight. I would rather grab two of these at this point than a Goblin. These look tight. The artist is good. Solid artist. Solid team. I think this is this is definitely a better pick than I realized earlier. Earlier I looked at it and I was like, yeah, this one's tight. I might grab one. But now that I'm looking deeper into it, this one's really cool. The charity aspect is cool. This one's really cool. I'll probably grab two of these tomorrow. We're gonna move that one up to here. Orcs, we're gonna move down to here for now. Nifty Riots. I like Nifty Riots, but I've checked them out. We're gonna leave them right here. All right, so Top buys are gonna be monkeys seven. Afro droid. I'm cleaning up my Discord while I'm showing you guys. <laughs> Using the time wisely. Double, double use of time. Um, so we'll get into that. We'll get into that. We got into that. I haven't looked at Oxy Littles yet. We're gonna move that to right here. Rogue Society. Let's get into Rogue Society. That's the next one. Rogue Society, I would probably put above Nifty Riots. If, if we're trying to make money, Rogue Society is probably the one to make money. Um, something happened with them the other day, though. They were supposed to drop, and uh, something happened where they had to postpone the drop. Oh, what am I doing? I'm so addicted to monkeys, I just click on it right away. <laughs> Uh, I got Dragonary going. I got Scholars on uh, Axie going. I do play to Plant to Earn, which kind of lost me a lot of money, so I don't recommend it. Um, I got um, Crypto Bay I got into today. I collect on Splinterlands, but I don't really play it. Um, I have Ethermon just sitting there at the wayside waiting. Dragonary though, I was on this game called uh, Crypto Fights, and I could never get it to work, and so I might go back to it here soon to uh, see if they ever got it up and running. But then I'll be on Blockchain Bikers, the NFT biker, Bikers NFT. That game is coming out in October. I'll be on that. Um, Goons of Balatrun, that game should be coming out in October. I'll be on that. So a little sneak peek at Rogue Society. 
Really cool. Pretty unique. Yeah, uh, Blockchain Bikers is going to be exactly like Zed's run, except for with bikers. And so that's why I was so excited to get into it. I bought three of them because of because I know people are making money on Zed Run. I know people are making good money on Zed Run. So I'm like, man, if this is a biker one, I'm all for it. And you know what? I got the number 144 rank biker. I just realized that looks a little high. Is that better? Oh, that's much better. I got the number number 144 ranked biker. I'm stoked. Um, so I'm stoked for the game to come out. I think with the biker I have, I'll do really well. No, I didn't. I, I, I should have, though. I knew it was a win. I, I looked into it a little bit. I knew it was a win. I just... I just there's so much stuff I got going on so many different projects that are good that I kind of just pushed it to the side and forgot to go back to it did you did you ape into it I know you're probably making money with it huh if not yet you will be I haven't kept up with it so I don't even know where they're at really um so rogue society looks fantastic you guys here's the website Roguebots are a pictorial representation of the 15,777 bots that escape enslavement from a failed utopian society. 0 0.09 mint price, kind of expensive. Nice. <laughs> Good shit. Good shit. Wait, wait, me. I love this. Think before you say. T, you got me a little lost on that one. I'm glad to hear you made money though. Golden Glow, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Um, Rogue Society. Oh my god, look at these guys. These guys are tight. Members only NFT crypto community. Uh, enables members to gather and plot world domination together. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> A rogue merchandise store will be kicked off. Ten rogue society. Point zero nine is the mint price. Oh, you're talking about my Buddha? I gotta turn the light on. I didn't even realize it's getting dark. Hold on, you guys. I rub his head and his belly. <laughs> Meditate in front of it. So it gives me the good energy to keep making these NFT flips and buying into the right games. 4% <laughs> sculptures or 3D prints will be mailed to random owners. That will be tight. Um, a theme song will be released. Point nine is expensive. Could be worth it though. We'll bring Rogue One to life via interactive augmented reality re mobile app. That's cool. Pilot episode for an animated series. That's flare. One free mystery NFT airdrop for all Rogue Bot owners. That's cool.
So there are a lot of them. It is kind of expensive, but I think it's a cool project. I, I, I think it will probably do well. They already have um, 18,000 members almost in their Discord. So I do think they will do well. Um, it's not one of my top picks, but it's definitely a pick. Uh, no, I don't really get on Facebook too much. I try to every once in a while, and I always, like, just get tired of it right away. <laughs> Is it a buyer's market right now? I just got so many other projects going on. I don't even know if I want to get into it, to tell you the truth. Not that it's a bad project. It's a fantastic project, but... You guys, minting for these have slowed down a lot. So we're going to keep watching them. But, you know, I'd rather like get into the sevens, uh, my mini monkeys, games. Once I get into the game section, we'll see, one, we'll see a couple that I... Uh, I feel really good about. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'm done with the NFTs. Let's get into the games, shall we? Let's start with probably one of the best ones, I would say. One of the biggest communities. Let's see. We're going to move that up here. This is where my games are going to go. This is going to go in here. Oh, I'm not done with NFTs. Wait, before we get to the games. Let's go over Project Yours. Forgotten Chain, that's a game. I got so much. I got, I got this stuff is just a mess. Just a mess. All right, Project Yours. Let's go over that one. This one looks super cool, you guys. I will be buying one of these just because of how it looks. I think the project would do really well too. 7,500 in the Discord, as we see right here. Let's check out the um, Twitter right here. All right, so this is their website. Underground Robogenetic Survivalist. There are 10,000 of them. Look at how cool that is. <laughs> you guys, this is so tight. I'm buying at least like two of these. These are so cool. They don't come until late September, mid, mid to late September, something like that. And so I'm going to be ready. URS, pronounced yours, is a revolutionary new collectible created by a global team based in Korea, U.S., and Germany. The team is comprised of high-level 3D specialists, illustrators, concept artists, creative directors, and experienced developers. And through a long planning and deliberation process, the storyline, roadmap, and aesthetic was determined over a period of months earlier this year. And the project is set to release in early to mid-September. It's like mid-September is what they're saying on their Discord. Look at these things. These things are so cool. I don't see anybody else doing this, you know? So let's see. Airdrop companion of yours at 21%. So that's cool. You get your own com companion. Merchandise. Everybody's doing that. Oh, th they're going to have enemies? That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. I wonder if the people that own a yours will get first dibs at one at a uh, enemy. A quarpy warp gate that teleported the yours to various places. A metaverse. What kind of metaverse? Will we finally be able to see the yours walking? Oh, they might walk in the future. Then there's airdrop at 77%. 
This one is called the Project Yours. Check it out here. Game launch. I didn't even see they had a game. Oh my god. This one I'm aping in on. I'm telling you. This one I'm buying a lot of. Need a mint pass for the pre-sale. 0 0.08. 0 0.08 is kind of expensive, but I don't even care. I'm buying. I want five of them. Oh, it's a raffle. This is the one that's a raffle. Remember how I was kind of talking about that earlier if that was the raffle one so it goes on raffle it runs for 24 hours and you can only apply once you can participate by paying 0 0.08 ethereum per number of applicants winners will be announced after 24 hours after that on the claim page you can take yours for each winning entry and you can take back or you can take back your ethereum for each non-winning entry yeah i don't like the raffle Yeah, are they paying for all the gas? So yeah, I, I kind of hate, I don't like the raffle, but these are so cool. These are so cool. But 7,500 members, how many are they minting? 10,000? So 5,000 can be sold during pre-sale. Invitation. I've never done a raffle. Yeah, now this that's I said out ape in last time and then I seen it was a raffle and I was like oh man kind of has me worried you know I don't really feel like sending 0 0.4 ethereum to a raffle I might I might grab one though 0 0.08 I'll grab one if they're gonna pay for gas too why not you know I do really like the project though this this for sure is like one of my favorite projects too um SLP SLP, I, uh, I I think it will get better. I just think it's going to take the developers doing something about the game. Yeah, I knew I should have cashed out. I think it's going to take the developers doing something uh, like uh, burning of Axie, allowing us to destroy Axie. Because the whole reason, so the whole reason SLP is going down is because there's no new players. Uh, really, there's no breeders breeding. If if we want SLP to go up in price, um, if if we want SLP to go up, we need breeders breeding. 
if the only way breeders are going to breed is if people are buying their the axie they're breeding well if people aren't going to buy their axie that they're breeding when there's literally millions of like hundreds of thousands of choices to choose from on the marketplace at such a cheap price it's it's unrealistic for breeders to breed and make profits at this point so we don't have anybody breeding thus the price of slp is crashing if they would allow us to destroy axie to upgrade body parts of other axie like they were talking about or burn axie so that way uh, i don't know, other axie get created or something I, I don't really know how they should do it burn them for something would be a good good uh, way out but if they would allow us to destroy Axie, then it would solve the, that issue of the marketplace being garbage. And so once the marketplace is fixed, that should fix new players coming in and buying up Axie that breeders are breeding. It's like, if you think about it, it's like if we lived on a planet and we were allowed to breed and multiply, but we were never allowed to die. The planet would eventually get so overpopulated like it we it just wouldn't it wouldn't work it could not work that way it can't exist that way and games are the same way if if there's there has to be a wave of new players coming into axie at this point in order for the marketplace to get bought up and then it, and at this point a huge wave already came into axie and bought up a bunch of axie and when they did the whole uh a, when axs the breeding cost jumped up and axs jumped up with price and this is in july when the servers went down because they had such an influx of people um when that happened that was great but that's ultimately what killed axie um what killed the marketplace because when they bought up all those axie the breeders were breeding double time put all new axie on the marketplace the servers crashed and hella people were like screw this i'm out started selling their axie as a, ethereum's going up in price and it, it just equals an overpopulated marketplace with an under underpopulated demand for the supply in the marketplace and that causes a marketplace to die because that causes breeders to not want to continue breeding because they're not making profits anymore and so the scholar accounts the only breeders making money are the breeders that have been set up to breed quality axie for a while now and even those guys aren't making that that good of money if any at all at this point it's it's hard telling right now combine axie is strength and a trait exactly the same as splinterlands yeah that would that would be f fantastic I'm sure it would be easily doable, you know. Um, so let's let's get all right. Project Yours, that was a good one. Um, I didn't realize that was gonna be a game. That's really cool though. I will be getting one of those through the raffle, I guess. But we're gonna have to wait to see what happens. That all right? Let's get into the games. Let's get back into Cipher. Cipher is. Cypher is going crazy. Probably the biggest community out there. Nice little intro video. Um, so I'm not going to get into everything. This is a huge game that's being developed. As far as I understand it, I, I didn't even dig all the way through the white paper because it was a lot to dig into. But um, there's to break down simple, there's going to be different NFT character types. And uh, I believe it's the Doges that are releasing on September 9th. Yeah, 9th or 10th. And so... Judge Judy, thanks for the follow. I appreciate you being in here. Um, to get back to Cypher, yeah, on the 9th or 10th, it's going to drop. It will have uh, the, the Doge Race will be the one dropping. Let me get see where. Well. 
So obviously everything will be on a blockchain, um, resources, weapons, cosmetic characters, um, even achievements. And so one of the achievements already, if you guys have done it, let me see if I can find it in my just madness, Pope Bop. So if you're a part of their Discord, you can do these qu the quest line. And in doing the quest line, you'll earn these NFTs. Look, it's minting it right now. So you'll get these NFTs for completing the eight quests on their in their uh, Discord. And so it looks like every achievement throughout the game, when the game comes out, you'll earn an NFT um, for the achievements. And so that's really cool. So certain, I guess certain achievement NFTs could be worth something to somebody. Um, I'm not really sure who would pay for that, but maybe, you know. So that's really cool. Um, the game has what, I believe it's four different characters. There's the moon base station, where you get crafting, a bar hall of fame. Um, hey Blade, how you doing? We're going over Cypher real quick. Not, not digging too deep into it, but uh, just kind of going over the basics of it. It's a lot to get into. But it's definitely something that is worth getting into. There will be land ownership in the game. Everything is an NFT in the game. Uh, it's going to be a big game. The community is huge already. I believe what we got in here already. It doesn't say. I know there's a lot of Cypher members in this community. No, it's all good, Blade. Appreciate being in here now that you can. Yeah, let me post a link for you. So you can check it out. Let's look at the roadmap for them. It's a well-done roadmap. You can see very well laid out. A month by month roadmap. That uh, is very promising. Very well uh very professional that was the word i was looking for very professional of the team um so creation of the first adventures the cypher inu will be launching september like 9th or 10th um the laboratory the game light paper you guys can go and check out on your time um they'll in september is when they're going to release the cypher Cypher Inu, so, yeah, Cypher Inu character. Um, so they're going to be really some breeding in October. Uh, the Neko's Cat Race will be sold in October. Uh, the gameplay demo video will be released in November. Sales of New Race, the Bird will be in November. So it looks like September, October, November and December will be a sale of, of all four character classes. Launch of the Cypher token in December. Um, launch of Cypher staking. That will be really cool. The demo is next year in March. And land sales will be next year in March. So it's the game is still a long ways away, but you're going to want to get into this early. Look, it goes over. The full team is here. You can see, see the full team. That's another really good sign when looking into a project. You guys can go over what the laboratory is, what everything is in this game. Um, I believe there will be more characters released later on, but it's going to be like 10,000 origin Inu and 10,000 origin birds, 10,000 origin bulls. Okay. 
And so this is a really exciting project, you guys. I'm definitely getting into this. I'm going to get one of every character at least. Maybe a couple of every character. Cause maybe they'll sell for more later on for sure. I, mean, I don't know why I'm saying maybe. I, they'll most likely sell for quite a bit more later on. Let's check see how our goblin goons are doing. Still haven't made it under 5,000. They're still moving though. Definitely still moving. Um, so Cypher, you guys check that out. Get into that. That's fantastic. It's going to be a really good thing, really good project to be into. I don't know if there's still time, but here's the eight uh, quests that you can get done. But after you get the quest done, you still got to be a part of the community. They're in Super Cypher. So earning Super Cypher. Um, gets you into the pre-sale Which is really cool you guys so Let's go on to the next one turtle squad is Another one I'll be getting into um, Right here announcement no Let me go turtle squad on Twitter turtle squad. I won't be aping in or into or anything but I'll be getting one, at least one turtle, because you'll one or two turtles for sure, because you'll be able to race them to get to earn Ethereum. Race turtles to earn Ethereum, and there's a chicken race out one right now. That what kind of game is what exactly, Blade? Uh, Cipher. Cypher, I believe, is going to be a role-playing MMO-based game. PvP and PvE. Expeditions. I understand it's somewhat of a role-playing game with PvP. But it might just be a battle sequence type game. So I guess they're going to be working on development of a mobile platform. So if you get one of the special characters, there's sub-race characters like Cyborg or Infected and Cosmic. There's a super rare. So 3,000 extremely rare racial traits will be guaranteed to be limited forever. So that's cool. Cypher, I'm not 100% sure. It's either battle sequence or role playing type game. You have to go into the light paper. It says it has the light paper on here somewhere for the game. Um, Turtle Squad, though. We'll get. It. Let's go. I thought they. They don't have a website yet. They'll be releasing the website when they release when the sale goes on but as you see there we got a decent amount of twitter uh feedback good amount of twitter followers their discord is doing all right they're not the you know they're not the craziest looking things by any means but it's the game behind it there's only ten thousand turtles 0 0.06 plus gas um they haven't announced that. And so to be able to race them to get Ethereum is big. There's a chicken game where you race the chickens and it's really blown up. And some of them are selling for like 20 Ethereum. So this is something I'm going to get into and grab a couple of turtles when I get a chance when they come out. Um, they'll be announced soon. So I'll be checking back on that. That was just a little quick overview. 
nothing crazy. Uh, Forgotten Chain, I know a little about because uh, it keeps kicking me out of their Discord. Tehu, if you're still in here, shout out to him. If I remember right, he's the one who showed me Forgotten Chain. Oh, so it's going to work for me. Where's the fact? Am I missing it? Get started. Web-based, play-to-earn game. So it kind of looks cool. Forgotten Chain, you guys. It looks like a good one. Um, I haven't dug deep into it because it wasn't liking me in their Discord the other day. And so this is actually the first little bit of sneak peek I've got to see at it. It looks it looks really good. The Discord's popping off. Doing some giveaways. I, I think this one could be really cool. Um, if Tehu was in here, maybe he could drop some knowledge about it. But I don't think he's in here. I think he had a dip. That's all right. Um, I don't know what happened to Binomars. Honestly, I got out of Binomars and dumped into Plant to Earn, and then Plant to Earn dumped, and I fucking lost like 800 bucks. <laughs> transferring my freaking Binomars funds into something else. And so I lost on that. And then, I don't know, I thought Binomars is at like 14 cents right now. So it's not like horrible. That's what price I got in at. But I honestly, I, I'm not sure what happened with Binomars at all. I stopped following them once I got out. Um, I do have a couple of, of people in my Discord in Binomars still. So maybe we can get an update on that later today or tomorrow. Um, we'll look into that for you though. Binomars. Let's see. All right, what are we on to next? Uh, we can do this game. Yeah, I got out of Binomars. Not. I just took my profits, and I thought another game would be more profitable. So I was going to jump into this other game, and get and make my the ROI on this other game was three days. It's called Plant to Earn. Right when I got into it, the next day it essentially crashed and I lost all my money. And so I was going to go into plant to earn, earn my money back, my ROI in three days. three Or it was like three to five days, depending how many you win. And then once I got my ROI, I was going to get back into Bynum Mars, but I lost all my money. So I never, I ended up not getting back into Bynum Mars. Because I uh, plant to earn didn't work out for me. Well, haven't you been farming with it? If you if you've been farming with it, you could get some something back. I was able to make some profits, but um, I should have cashed out when it jumped up to forty cents and just sold the dragons and cashed out, but. Learned my lesson. The farm disappeared? Oh, crap. What the hell? That's crazy. That might be good, though. That might be a good sign. They're trying to change it to strictly play to earn. That might be a really good sign that there's no more farm. So I wouldn't give up on it just yet, you know? Because they originally they wanted it to be only a play to earn game. They didn't want it to be farming and all that. But they added it in there to give people something to do in the beginning. Oh, it was hacked? Oh, wow. That's rough. That's really rough. Sorry to hear about that. I, I hope everything works out with it.
Look at that, Amigos is giving away. So Amigos is another one I found the other day. Very low member count on Discord. Super fresh game. Um, it's not going to be out for a while. A few of them are being sold to early supporters. This game is super early. Um, so this is definitely, you know, very, very, very beginning stages. High risk, long term watching, nothing to buy into yet. But Amigos is, is something that sparked our interest when we found it. It seems like a, a hidden gem just because of how new it is. See if I can find. I believe it had a Twitter. Damn. So right here's the website, you guys. Fight for Migosa. It's an MMO RPG. Um. Play to earn, PVM, PVP, gaming. So it's, it's pretty well done. Website, massive multiplayer, online, fantasy based, wearables, abilities, skins, kingdoms, that'll be the land. Super good uh, roadmap, super solid roadmap. You guys, so the only thing that worries me is that the, uh, the team's not on the website, but if you go to the Discord, you can talk to them directly. So that's something I'll I'll bring up to them the next time I um, the next time I'm in there, let them know. I, I don't know. I think it it'd be smart for them to add a team to the website. So um, that's definitely a good one. Very early on, so I recommend. Uh, keeping an eye out for that you guys Let's see and yeah, I think that's everything that is coming up That I wanted to share with you guys for the future at least So right now what am I playing right now besides Axie? Let's get into that Let's get into First, let's get into Dragonary. Dragonary was doing. Dragonary is doing doing really well with acquiring a huge uh, user base, but Dragonary has. Yesterday, it, it got put onto the iOS marketplace, so Dragonary's still doing its thing. Don't get me wrong, but. I'm looking for Telegram. That's what I'm looking for. But the way... The way Dragonary is set up, if they don't make a major change to it here soon, it's going to die in two weeks. And so I'm, I'm... I'm debated selling all my tokens because it worries me. Because let's do this math right here, you guys. 62 legendary accounts at 2,000 CYT daily. And then 987 epic accounts at 303 CYT daily is literally in 10 days. It's like, it, I did the math yesterday. It'll be like two weeks and the entire liquidity pool will be drained. The entire liquidity pool will be drained. And so it really worries me. Um, and then when they stated when they released the marketplace, you'll be able to buy dragons with BNB, BO, BNB, BUSD. Marketplace taking so long. As we all know, developers are focusing their time and effort to fix bugs and issues within the game along with the marketplace release. Soon we will announce updates regarding this matter. Just give us time for a moment to make this game better. For now, let us focus on what a game provides and farm those daily rewards. 
So yeah, so in my opinion, I'm selling out of, I'm probably going to just cash out of Dragonary right now. And then cash back in when it, when it drops down even lower. Which is really disappointing, you guys, because I literally had freaking, I have 13,000 coins in it. Super disappointing. But with that update, what do you mean YB? What what's on air? Are they on air right now? I got kicked out of their Discord on accident. I accidentally posted my Discord link and it kicked me out. I didn't know they'd do that. I never get an answer, but we'll see. Zombie battlefield. Look at that. See, it's good to be in these discords. Zombie Battlefield. Let's look into it real quick, shall we? We could have just got dropped a gem right there. Uh, probably not, but we'll, we'll look. Nope. It's not a gem. Well... Yeah. No, you are cashing out on air. Oh, yeah. No, I'm cashing out. Yeah, right now. But I'm still going to keep playing. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, SLP's down, down right now. Don't get me wrong. I believe in Dragonary still. I'm still going to be playing Dragonary. I'm still going to fucking be a part of it, but... It's just hard for me to back it when they're not going to give any release to the marketplace. And not only that, there's like no use for the coin. It just it just really worries me. They they're allowing the legendary and epic epic accounts to drain the liquidity pool. And so if they're going to just drain the liquidity pool, they're the only ones that's going to get rich on the game. It, it's it's just kind of bullshit how they're doing it. I'm a little disappointed in it because I expected it to do way better than what they're doing. The developers to do way better than what they're doing. And it, I know as soon as I cash out, they're going to release an update about the marketplace. And price is probably going to go up. But at this point, at this point, I just feel like it's too risky. And if I, if I wait any longer, I'll end up losing all my profits i'm still in profits a little bit right now so all right here we go i'm cashing out right now fuck it it'll just allow me to be able to buy into all these other nft projects super hard right right Fuck it. I'll wait a few days. If it goes back down to, if it goes all the way down like 20 cents, because, all right, so this is the thing that that worries me. It's right here. So, you guys see, right here, you'll be able to transfer at 827 2021. So that was four days ago. So I was able to, I was able to transfer my CYT that I've gained. I, I just wanted to do the math for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about, okay?
let's do the math real quick so you guys can tell me whether or not i'm being crazy all right we got 62 legendaries making 2000 cyt a day that's 124,000 a day right let's round up to a thousand epic accounts doing 300 round down cyt a day That's 300,000 plus the 162,000, or uh, 120, wait, 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 what? 124, I'm, I'm tripping. 124, <laughs> I'm tripping. Um, plus the 300,000 is 424,000 a day, okay? Let's times that by seven days. That's 2,968,000 given out in seven days um, times, let's do 30 cents now since that's how far down it is. That's $890,000 seven days and, and seven days from now, which will seven days from the 27th because they the last time they cashed out was probably the 27th. So in another... I don't know what three days we're going to lose roughly eight hundred thousand so in three days we're gonna ru lose roughly another eight hundred thousand from the liquidity pool you guys see a problem with that anywhere this is the liquidity pool right there 1.8 1 million 1, 800,000 so now in three days and this is what I was worried about a week ago when we were sitting at like 38 cents right here or maybe it was back here and there was a little spike I was worried about this and I brought it up but they the right when I brought it up in the telegram they just so happened to do a release saying they'd be releasing an update or a, a, a update on the marketplace soon and to not to worry and blah 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 well, that was a week ago and it's they're they're not doing what i thought they would do so it just worries me a lot i cashed out i'm gonna keep using my coins i've got to level up my account when the marketplace opens if when they announce the marketplace opening i'll probably buy back a bunch of coins hopefully it'll be down you know to like 20 cents Maybe we can get down all the way, you know, under 20 cents. Because you got to think, if they cash out 800000 that's essentially a little, you know, a little less than half of the liquidity pool. So this could crash all the way down to 15 cents, no problem. In three days, three, four days. That worries me. That worries me a lot. I cashed out. I'm so mad. I could have I cashed out up here. But I was like, no, they're going to do good. They're going to have a correction. And then they'll bounce back. But they never did. So that's Dragonary. I, I do believe it's going to do well. I will keep collecting the daily. I will keep breeding dragons with the coin I'm earning. I did just sell the majority of my coins. So that way I don't lose any. Um, because I do think it will probably keep going down. That's my opinion about it. Let's move on. I'm over Dragonary talking about it. Let's move on to Crypto Bay. All right, you guys. Crypto Bay. Number two in uh, Play to Earn right now. On the Play to Earn website right now. You guys, this is fresh. This is fresh, fresh. And those of you Axie players out there, you're going to uh, recognize an interface that they use for the marketplace. And so this is on the Binance Smart Chain. This is not on Ethereum. It's on Binance. They'll have Arena where you fight against players, a PvP. Okay? They're going to have build your own ship where you build it, sell it to other navigators. All right? They're going to have build a harbor where you build your own harbor where you build weapons, grow wheat, produce bread, and make good wine. All right? They're going to have a lot. If you guys jump over into 
the marketplace. Let's see. We can jump. So if you if you jump into a new account, this is what's going to happen in the marketplace, right? You're going to get here. Talk about Crypto Blades. Crypto Blades, is, is it reviving? Because Crypto Blades was, is dead in my opinion, but it could be reviving. Or you just want me to school everybody up on the good old days. <laughs> when we made fucking so much money in such a little time playing Crypto Blades. Like two weeks, we turned $50 into like $1,500. That's real talk. That was great. <laughs> I made so much money, it was unbelievable. Why do you think I got all this money to buy coins and all these other games? Crypto Blades was a big part of that for sure. Axie was a huge part of that too, but Crypto Blades was too. So getting back to Crypto Bay, you guys look at the, look at the marketplace, okay? If you look, you you buy a ship by buying a box. Today is the last day; it will be sixty percent off. So today is the last day; it's 0.21 instead of 0.53. Right? All right. Let's say you bought a box and you opened it. You can own as many accounts as you want, but you can only have one ship on each account right now. Eventually, you can have three, but right now it's only uh, one. And as you see, this is, look, look at origin, the number. What's this remind you of, guys? You got your six stats. Excuse me, you got the owner, durability, energy. It's a little bit different game, but it's essentially the same interface same interface all right and people like people like what they recognize as being good and they recognize uh, Axie as being good so so you guys see it right here fire interface for the marketplace now we jump into the game the game's done up very nice I don't have enough energy I used it all earlier but you spend energy on adventure where you pick one of the five fi pirates you want to face uh, mission and arena are coming soon. It's not out yet. Let, this game's been out a week, you guys. One week. That's it. And so you got durability with your ships. You'll have to repair using the coin. And uh, uh, buying stuff for the game. Well, you'll have to use the coin. It's called Pearl. But I was able to earn 14 off of using all my energy one time. If we look at the Pearl token... It's worth 12 and a half cents right now. So it will probably keep going down in the near future just because there's not a use case for the token. Okay, just like with Dragonary, I anticipated it going down. What I didn't anticipate was the developers not being on their shit and the developers dragging out this. I understand they had a huge influx of players they weren't expecting, but they're still, they're still not on their shit very well. So hopefully this game's on on their shit, but the token is going is down until a use case uh, gets invented for it, which has already been invented. And once it gets implemented, I should say, um, once it gets implemented, you'll be able to build the harbor out. You'll be able to build more ships, and uh, you'll be able to sell on the marketplace for Pearl to do all that stuff. And it'll be a nice little ecosystem built around this token. We could look at its peak. This token was upwards of 50 cents. We can see this token going back up there again. I can see that happening. So you know what I'm going to do? I have five accounts with with one ship each, all of them origin, and I'm going to farm pearl. That's it. I'm going to farm it. And when it goes up in price, which it will again one day, SLP did, and so pearl will when the game gets further developed. Mark my words. And when it goes up, I'm going to have a, a bunch of them saved. I'm going to have thousands, thousands saved. And I'm going to cash out when it gets 50 cents, 60 cents. I'm going to cash out. No problem. No problem. 
And then in the future, this game takes off. Three years from now, people are playing this game still. People are going, or even a year from now, the way at the rate games are accelerating in the crypto space, it could be a year from now, it could be three months from now, it could be six months from now. And these ships could potentially be worth a whole lot more because now there's 500,000 ships out there and you have the top 30,000, top 50,000 labeled with that origin mark. That origin mark makes it worth a lot more in Axie, so it's going to do the same thing in this game. It's going to make it worth a lot more. Just takes time, so get in now. Get in now before tomorrow when the price jacks up 60%. That's Crypto Bay. The only pirate game, really. Like, It's, it's pretty cool. I, I do think this game is going to take off. I see it being on the phone. There we got the wiki. If you look on the game map, the wiki is down here. The marketplace is down here. Such a such a great interface right here. They did a really good job with this game. I, I do think this game is going to be fantastic. As you see the harbor here, eventually you'll have three ships. Maybe even a fishing boat for some reason. I'm not sure. So I'm hyped on this game, you guys. But yeah, YB, I made so much money at Crypto Blades. <sighs> I wish I, I wish we could find another game like Crypto Blades. And that's what I was thinking Plant to Earn was going to kind of be like. Plant to Earn, I was thinking, was going to be like that. Uh, they had a sister game. Uh, I can't remember the sister game, what it was called. But they both started blowing up really well in the beginning, and then the developers kind of just, I guess, threw them to the wayside and didn't really care much about them. Super unfortunate. Come on now, what's going on? So yeah, guys, I, I still can't believe. Every time I look at that math, I'm like, the developers have to know this is happening. <laughs> YV, I did it literally. You're not lying when you say 15 hours a day. I would wake up at like 6 in the morning and grind it out until like 2 in the morning and take like three breaks in between. <laughs> Because there would be certain times of the day where the marketplace wasn't popping. So it's like, alright, cool, you can take a break right now. But once that marketplace started popping, oh, the marketplace would crash is what it is. But once it wasn't crashed, it would be popping and it was time to go. It was time to go, go, go. We were making so much money with it. So much. Oh my god. I'm, <laughs> just talking about it, I get so stoked. Look at all the new games coming out. New, new. Crypto Shooter, Dragon Slayer, there's so many games coming out, it's hard to keep up between the, N the NFTs and the games. Um, this one, NFT 11, is a part of a I ICO drop or IDO drop, one of them. I'm I posted it in my Discord, and so if you guys uh, are interested in that, it's in the Discord. Some reason my computer doesn't want to load. It's being ridiculous. In case you guys aren't in the Discord, we can set that up. <laughs> Sin City said, how are you deciding which projects to go in on between Sevens, Rogue, MMM, and Cypher? I'm getting all of them. <laughs> Gotta go hard. It's money making season, baby. NFTs are freaking wildfire. 
So you see, there's there's so many games. I'm sure a lot of these you can make money with. Uh, plants, uh, plants vs. Undead I was going to get into. You can make money with that. It's only like 350 bucks to get in. And so I still might do that. i just been so distracted by all the other amazing projects. Um, where are we at? We at five, we're at 5 o'clock. What, um, what else do we got? The Colony. I was looking at this one the other day. Um, collection dropping September 1st. That's tomorrow. I will probably be grabbing this one as well. Just because uh, a big uh, Twitter guy twitched about it. And it does look good. It is a game. Okay. Um, and so... It does. It, it's not like I'm just going off his word. Like, he, he does post a lot of really great stuff. But I would never just go off his word. I'm looking at the background to it as well and everything. And, uh... I don't know. I think it's going to be a good one. That's what I was looking for. Roadmap. No, that was the roadmap. So they'll have re-rolling a, a trait. And it'll cost to re-roll a trait to get your colonists to a better... Uh, better rarity, which that would be pretty cool uh, For 72 hours holders of colonists will be able to mint a companion which is essentially a pet with future utility in the game um, So it, it is a it is a game that's coming out the first 5,000 are dropping tomorrow so I do see this as being something it's an MMO game on the blockchain. It is it, it is something that could potentially be really big in the future. A lot of these MMO games are catching on like on, on like wildfire. They're catching a lot of heat. They're getting a lot of pop popularity. Um, and these are kind of cool little avatars. They're not you know that dumb looking. They're they're kind of cool looking. And so it's something that has a has some good potential where's the price though am i missing that somewhere 0 0.025 each so it's super cheap i might even grab two because of how cheap it is 0 0.05 for two of them with trait re-rolling um game comes out as soon as possible but it's gonna take some time for sure 10 month time frame to get a bare bones working alpha so this is something I'll probably jump in and grab a couple tomorrow uh, what's their discord looking like Nine thousand two hundred members, you guys. Look, this is—I don't even have to dig any deeper to see. Like, this is one I want to get tomorrow for sure. At point zero two five, you guys, you—you probably be able to flip it for point one in no time. Maybe not, but it, in my opinion opinion i think it's going to be very possible point one flip in no time so look this is another one i found this the other day didn't really look into it too hard I'm looking into it more now than i did then um it excites me it's mmo i love mmos i love blockchain games play to earn uh, the NFTs look cool. There's only 5,000. The Discord has over 9,000 people in it. Um, 9,000 members. Uh, they got companions that will be coming out. They're super cheap. You can do a one supercharged reroll to increase their chance of rolling a legendary stat. Um, yeah, you guys. I like this one. I like, th I like this one a lot, too. 
just the price of it. And nobody else I know is doing a re-roll. That's kind of cool. So this one's fantastic. I can't believe I almost forgot about this one. It literally comes out tomorrow. Um, how's the ogres doing, you guys? Or the goblin goons? The orcs? Are we under 5,000? Oh, I'm not on the right network. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Dang it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they've only, they've almost burned through 4,000. Are they, yeah, they've, they've gone through 4,300 and what, 33? Something like that. I think this changed again. You guys think it'd be worth it to mint one of these? Maybe two? Oh my gosh. No. Cancel. I'll let you guys ponder that question. I'm going to go get some more water for a moment. They, I did say if they go under 4,000, I would mint one. And they're going down. They're, they're going down. And so I might have to just mint one. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some water.
you know, the Crypto Blades too. At one point, I I had like thirty characters on the marketplace between <laughs> between like two or three different accounts. It was insane. I just got back too. Welcome back. So YB, the orcs you see here. The thing with them is, it's a player, player versus player game, where you earn Ethereum if you win three times. You're up in a drawing to win Ethereum. Okay, so those three wins. Let's see, right here. Three of their opponents are, and if they beat all three of their opponents, they're entered into a raffle to win a share of secondary sale royalties. Raffles take place every two weeks, and 100 winners will be randomly selected. And so that could be, you know, quite a bit of Ethereum split up between 100 people. It can still be quite a bit of Ethereum. And so I think that's what kind of the hype is behind all this. Um, but I think the hype is going to be short-lived. I, I think um, once secondary sales stop, the hype is going to be be pretty much dead. And if you get a rare one, I see you making money. But other than that, like there is nothing else to this. You know, they got Twitter, they got Discord. Um, they don't have a team on their page they don't really have a road map like that's it you know and so even here yeah the other projects are way better and look goblin king they got bot bot and mod oh so he got a bunch of mods but it's just not, it's going pretty quick. It's selling, you know, but I just don't think it's worth the money. There's so many other really good projects coming is, is the problem. Yeah, the other projects are better. They're going pretty quick though, but they started at five. Oh no, they started at three, so two and a half hours. I don't know. That's tight. Nah, well, no, that's not true, YB. I don't, I don't, that's not always true. Because the goons of Balatrun, didn't, they sold out in six days. And they their floor last night was 0.75. That's a decent floor. Um, am I in the Discord chat still? Uh, don't open that. Well, I am in the Discord chat still. <laughs> we'll just drop out of there. Ah, don't open. I think it's gonna open. Um, damn it, don't open. Yeah, drop. No, the goons did drop in price for sure. Um, but I do believe they'll go back up when it gets closer to the game coming out. They had a lot of hype yesterday for some reason. Uh, but other projects. 
I'm trying to think of one. I, I, I'm trying to think of one, but there, there's been a few projects I've seen in uh, this guy I follow and I watch to, to get, he has, I'm telling you, ZSS Becker. This guy, he is on it just as often as I am. He calls a lot of really good stuff. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm not disagreeing with that. If it sells out in a minute, you know it's it's solid. You know that for sure. I'm not disagreeing with that. <clears throat> but yeah, Voxies, they took months to sell. And look at their floor now. You know? Their floor is growing. Wait, so these, they like transform into birds and shoes? You know, NFT, which we're playing a physical redemption for, then you can claim your physical item through the forging events. That it's that's a pretty cool idea. You should drop this in the Discord, YB. This is a this is a pretty solid fucking idea. I like it. People love sneakers. Just to look at. They don't even care to wear them, too. I don't know. It's wild. So they could buy this shit up. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna cost money. Oh. That shit's tight. That shit's tight too. This stuff's pretty cool. This is a pretty cool one. I, I'll definitely check more into this one. Oh, my internet's crashing. All right, so what do we got planned? We got the sevens are coming on the seventh. Afro droids are 14 hours away. We can get rid of Cypher because that's not coming for a few days. We can get rid of the badges. Project Yours is the raffle. Amigos isn't coming forever. We're going to keep this one to the side. We got our mini monkeys coming. When did it announce? The 8th, I believe. For mini monkeys. I get distracted so easy sometimes. <laughs> yeah, did I not? Oh, I haven't dropped it on my Twitter yet. That's because I've been streaming the whole time. That's what it is. It's 
So the 10th, 10th through the 12th for pre-sale. So we got some time for that. So we got colony happening tomorrow. We got uh, Afro droids happening. Nifty Riots will be happening in a couple of days. I'll probably grab a couple of do a couple of those. Oxo Axo Littles. I was told to look into this one. Is it right here? Don't they got their website on here. Giveaways, bot, verify role, main chat, frequently asked questions. Ah, no website. Point zero seven September six. No pre sale. Ten thousand. So there's no website, no roadmap yet, and they got sixty two hundred already in Discord. That's pretty crazy. So I think, like, what is this? Is it a game? I mean, it got a lot, of, a lot of backing already, a decent community size, but I don't know. I'm not in this kind of art, so unless I know this is gonna make me money, I'm not buying it. I gotta know for a fact, and I don't know for a fact, but it could, it could 100%. I'm not, I'm not dissing it at all. I'm just saying it's not really for me. Unless I know there's a game behind it. Um, so let's go. I did want to go over rare rarity tools. This is how big of a difference it is between rare accounts and epic accounts. They're making 300 a day. I make 30 a day. And I literally put in just as much money as that. <laughs> just into the wrong way. But that's whatever. Uh... I'm just gonna scroll through and kind of point out some ones that stuck out to me. One a panda might be something. Uh, I haven't I haven't looked into this one, so this is just like the art kind of looks interesting. It might be something that catches on. Uh, sale date to be determined. Um. This Naughty Tigers Costume Club is doing some uh, secondary royalty sales stuff. So that's something to look into. And they're giving away a bunch of Ethereum and stuff. All these kind of... I mean, this is cool. Beasticles looks really cool, but... It, I haven't looked into them. I don't think there's much behind it. See, I knew you could draw. 
sitting there showing me a picture of how well you can draw then try and hide it. <laughs> Raccoon Mafia is going on right now, I believe. Oh, sold out already? Oh, wow. They sold out quick. I was wondering if they would sell out quick. I was wondering if these guys would sell out quick. I was interested in them, but there's not a lot to them. It's just a community thing. But they're just kind of cool. I'm glad I didn't buy it, though. We'll see how good they do. They could do really well. But there's only 3,000 of them. I think that's what caught my attention, is there's so few of them. But I'm glad they did well. Yeah, 3333. 333 is my number, so I should have known they would do well. Floor price is 0 0.079, it looked like. 0 0.074, 0 0.075. So those might do really well. This is on the Wax blockchain, which is different. Could do, could do potentially well. Stoners like stuff like this. Here's those orcs. So this is new. This wasn't up here earlier. I like ragdolls, but I don't know how well it'll actually do. But I like the art behind it. I like these characters. These NFT little uh, statues. Ragdoll statues. I really like it. So by the end of August, early September, well, it looks, sounds like they're going to be coming out anytime. So, I don't know. I don't know how well it'll make money. I haven't looked into it too deep. As you see, it's down here on my Discord. I just haven't gone deep into it. Immortals kind of look cool. Um, I don't know Lost. The TV show? I know the TV show Lost. Is there uh, NFTs called Lost? I don't know that. Oh, Lost Relics? Yeah, I've been trying to play Lost Relics for months. Literally, like three months I've been trying to get in a Lost Relics and I have not been able to get in. I've signed up with three or four different emails and I've I've I went to their website and tried to purchase the week long pass so I could play it for a week. That every time I've done that that's been down. It's like the universe does not want me to play Lost Relics. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I'm I it looks great. I it looks great. I've been trying. I don't, I don't get it. I literally have signed up with, like I said, three, four different emails. And I don't get emails from any of them. I don't get any responses or anything. So that's kind of whack. But if I, if I can get into it, I'm going to get into it. It does look good. It does look good. These guys kind of look cool. If it's a game or something. Okay, so I don't know what this is, but a mint pass being sold for 0.1 could potentially be worth a lot of money. Icy Punks are free. They come out tomorrow. Who knows what they'll end up doing. If gas is $100, I'm not paying $100 for that. <laughs> Block duelers looked okay. Nothing crazy stuck out. Um, type of game what what type of game lost relics isn't for you you just said it's a great game or are you talking about a different game
Oh, these type of games? Like NFT games? I feel ya. Some of them are cool, but... Shrooms. With NFTs with audio. We're gonna have to check into that. That might be cool. Some of them are cool just because it's a way to make money. That's really the only the only reason I, I like the game some of these games, because I can make money. If I can't make money from it... Well, I almost bought this for 55 Matic. I still might go do it. I just gotta transfer coins around and it's a process. Um, the rest of these guys. These warrior themed chibi characters. I do like these. They dropped Friday, September 3rd. Um, I did. I do kind of want to get into this. Maybe one or, one or two of these. Something to look out. Chibi, Chibi Legends of the Wearing Kingdoms. Check it out, you guys. Um, do your own research. Nifty Riots. I already looked into that. Future game tie-in with Neo's Bizarre Adventure. Could be something. I don't know. Cypher. We, we talked about Cypher. It's a little expensive, but worth it. Mooney. I got their free one, but I don't know. I haven't really done much with it or looked into it much. These look kind of cool. 5,500 next Tuesday. These are new up here. What's Coin Gangs? Want to build a video game? Us too. Let's do it together. What's up, guys? I want to welcome you officially to the Coin Games family, one of the greatest families, communities on Earth. My name is Tim Yesta. I'm the founder and creator of Coin Games and kind of lead product designer on our first game, The Bloodline. Before I jump into those details, I want to just tell you, for me this started, like many of you probably, super young, this journey. Since I was seven years old when I played my very first video game to a city, I'm so sorry. I'm to move longer exist i just want to hear about the game few years with um the it's probably a really great guy just take uh, an idea in the real blockchain probably had a really great life can for the first time ever i mean maybe not i don't know but i would hope so time, i hope everybody has money, a really great life blood, sweat tears enjoyment but actually have a real value to show for it Come at on. The end, to the gaming community we put them on the auction for the highest bidder or just sit there in pride as you stare at your collection knowing this is that are benefiting monetarily from unfortunately right now there are a lot of people who i think are starting to see this trend of blockchain and gaming and they're just slapping anything i wouldn't even call it really a real game onto the blockchain and going <laughs> he's uh, not lying developers blockchain developers to truly bring a triple a title to crypto and i believe there'll be many more to follow and uh, our game isn't going to meet every gamer's need but just think pokemon meets uh, auto chess coming together collectibles, unlocking, character creation, so many other things that you're gonna geek out along with us. Uh, really, almost everything that I love in, in, in my favorite games, we found a way to include it organically in this concept, and I believe it'll blow you away. There's a few concepts we have that nobody else is doing that I think you're gonna love, and we'll, we'll see copycats show up you know, after uh, we deploy it. And so, I'm excited to, to have you guys join. The third thing, guys, that we're gonna do after making the bringing the no, what's Terminus? An amazing game is oh, the, the Terminator. It's uh, really be the Terminator Axie. The coin games family. I, I was talking recently with my buddy Andy, who's actually the both of them do. I've known since I was 13 years old. And we well, no, no, no. Only then. the one does. The other guy does a dual aqua. Make a freaking video game, and that provides for your family, but invite building. But there are still many you can be a part of. 
And I know for me, I am so excited to be on this journey with you. And hopefully you're just as excited to give your input and see your ideas actually manifest in a game that you can play, you can um, own part of the ecosystem. So you can earn really money, cool. real life money in tournaments and everything else, um, as well as have real value for every single thing that you unlock in the game and be able to trade it, sell it, auction it, or just stare at it in your wallet. And so anyway, I'm more than excited. We are gonna have a ton of other videos, but for now I wanna invite you again and welcome you to the Coin Game family. Please find the link on the website. Yeah, I know. And put I, I literally game, bought on one the game, one with... Uh, information in there. I bought a termy with uh, the, the sleep move. What's that sleep move called? Cotton ball, uh, I don't know. The sleep. The one that puts on the sleep. I bought it literally three weeks ago for 0. 0.3. And then it crashed and it's literally worth 0. 0.11 right now. 0. 0.1. So disappointing. So disappointing. Literally lost point to Ethereum like that. These, yeah. These, I think this is a must to buy. Double talk. Yes, thank you. Double talk. Yes. Uh, I literally bought for 0.3 Ether for one of my scholars a couple weeks ago so they could continue to play. And like two weeks later, I'm selling one of them from my other scholar, or three weeks now, and it's worth 0.1. I was devastated. I was like, are you kidding me? This is a great one. I'm going to have to buy one of these. I really like this project already. Let's, I it, it looks fantastic. Let's see what kind of uh, follower base they got. They're already, they're pretty solid, pretty solid. Pretty solid. We'll get into it a little bit more later. Um, or I will, and then I'll, I'll have updates for you guys as time goes on. I do like this, though. These avatars, there's only ever going to be these 5,000 created. He's a pretty big streamer. If he's talking about it, that's a good sign. Zujin. Thought I was following him. Huh. Yeah, you guys, I like this one. I like this project. Do you see the team right here? Well, I guess this full team or not, but these guys you see. Got the Instagrams and YouTube. Got a nice roadmap. The art is pretty good. The characters are good. It's a future game. They have good uh, Discord community already. I like this one. It's getting dropped into the Discord. Boom. All right, well, that looks fantastic. Found that one right now. Where did we find that? Right here. Rarity. Rarity does have some really good finds, you guys. Look, the sevens is on here.
found some really good projects today. We went over some really good projects. The Chibi Apes I really like, but I think you got on a generation one or two to buy the Ape, which is unfortunate. We already went over Project Yours. Uh, I'm sure some of these other ones might be some good ones. Here's Amigos. Super early. This one looks interesting, but I don't know. Oh, that would have been a cool one to get. All right, well, well, you guys, I got some work to do, so I'm going to end the stream. It's pretty much 6 o'clock anyway. I appreciate everybody for being here. Appreciate everyone being in here. Appreciate all the support. <clears throat> um, catch out Mini Monkey Mafia. If you haven't already, join their Discord for me so I can get up in the rankings. That'd be fantastic. And thank you for sharing my Discord. I appreciate it. Was that my Discord? Or is that your Discord? That's mine? Oh, cool. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for sharing it. Everybody, please join Discord to no games to earn money for sure. I share all this stuff I go over and much more in the Discord. Um, like like I was saying earlier, I post daily. I'm constantly doing research on this stuff. So you guys check it out, and you'll get a lot of very valuable stuff out of it. Guaranteed. Um, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys tomorrow.